What's up guys? This is Matt from RamseyVoice.com and thank you so much for watching this video. Today we get to talk about belting. Yeah! Uh, it's a technique and a, a singing sound that's near and dear to everyone's heart. So as soon as people learn how to sing high notes, they want to learn how to belt them, how to sing with tons of power up there. So today we're going to talk about what is belting. We're going to talk about how you can learn to belt, how you can belt your singing voice, how to learn to belt safely. Um, and then we're going to talk about lots of different examples of singers that belt um, either right or wrong. And I'm going to give you some exercises to help you learn how to belt correctly without losing your voice. Now, if you find this video helpful, make sure that you like, subscribe, and uh, turn on notifications for this channel. Or if you're ready to just jump right on in and start uh, belting the right way, you can check out my complete singing course, Master Your Voice. Okay, let's just jump right on in. So what is belting? Well, there's lots of great belters out there. There's Dave Grohl, Charles Bradley, um, Anthony Kiedis, you can think of Ozzy Osbourne, Adele, all these people belt um, often when they're going up to their high notes. So this begs the question, what is belting? Belting is basically hitting the notes at the top part of your voice with the power and the strength of the notes at the bottom part of your voice. What do I mean by that? Well, everybody has two main vocal registers, the chest voice at the bottom part of your voice, like the ah, uh, and also the head voice at the top part of your voice, like so that's the top part of my voice, my head voice. Now, what would happen if I decided to take some of the power that I get from that ah uh, and put it on this top note? Uh, I would be belting. I would be hitting the highest notes in my voice or the highest notes in my head voice with the power and the strength of the bottom part of my voice or my chest voice. In other words, I'm singing head voice notes with the power of my chest voice. And that's all belting is. However, there's a right way and a wrong way to belt. So for instance, I'm gonna pick on a couple of famous singers here just because they're so great and they sound awesome. But like, uh, for instance, like Dave Grohl in the song, Best of You. I got another confession, my friend. He's basically just singing those high notes in his voice with only chest voice. He's just pushing so much that he's making it to the note. Um, and uh, there's not a whole lot of head voice in that sound. Now we're gonna take a look at that uh, a little bit later to show you how to do that correctly, but that's just one example. But let's take a look at another one, a female this time. We can look at, um, Hello from the other side I must have called a thousand times We've got Adele, who's a very famous belter because she's basically just pulling her chest voice all the way up to those high notes as strongly as she can. Now, what's wrong with that sound? Nothing at all. It sounds awesome, and I love it too. Um, however, if you do it too much, it can be very fatiguing and possibly damaging to your voice, which is why it's so important to learn the right way to belt. What is the right way to learn to belt? The right way to learn to belt is to sing with a balance of your chest voice and your head voice. So to go back to, well, let's do another example. Like um, there's a famous singer, uh, Charles Bradley, sadly, he recently passed away. Phenomenal talent. Uh, he has a song called Changes that's, He basically just pulls his chest voice as high as he can to get up to those top notes. Well, what would happen if we did an exercise on that? For instance, we could do like a na. Nah. So like, na 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 being an open vowel will kind of help you find that belty sound that you're looking for. And run, na 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 I found a balance in my voice. There's some head voice in there, hallelujah. Now I can do a little bit of I'm going through changes without just uh, pulling my voice up to that. Now, what are some more exercises that you can use to find this balance of the chest voice and the head voice and learn to belt safely? I'm gonna show you uh, five different exercises right now. So I'm gonna get started off with one of my absolute favorites, which is the bratty neigh. Now, if you've been watching any of my other videos, you may see me uh, recommend this for other exercises as well, but the bratty neigh is just one of the best ones for hitting high notes. Not necessarily in a really belty way, but it's a great way to put you there. So we're gonna just start off with guys. Guys, I'm gonna start you on an F sharp four on top, and we're just gonna do a really simple octave arpeggio repeat scale, like this. Nay, 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 
nay, nay, nay. So we're going for a really bratty, kind of ugly sound where you're just singing up to that top note. Nay, 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 nay. Let's come down. Nay, 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 nay. We'll start on this A4. So we'll go, actually, let's start from the top and come down. We'll just start on a C sharp 5. So, now notice that I'm not pulling up to any of those notes. I'm just using that bratty sound to help me find that edge at the top part of my voice and lots of power without any of the <laughs> strain. I'm just nay, 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 nay. So I've got plenty of power up there. Now, once you've found that sound, let's move into our second exercise, which is just building on the last one. So we're gonna actually shift from a nay into a na, like I was demonstrating earlier. So guys, we're gonna start here, same octave arpeggio repeat. So na 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 I'm just going up to that top note, repeating it four times. Now notice I've got a lot more power and volume in that already. But if I hadn't done the nay first, it would be very easy for me to na 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 and just push up to it. But I don't want to push up to it. I just want to find that right na 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 kind of balance. Ladies, we'll start you right here at C sharp five. Na 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 or na 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 or get two tens. So we're gonna give you an exercise to you folks as well. In this case, we're gonna keep the vowel exactly the same. We're gonna keep that a ah vowel, like you're saying apple. But this time, instead of an n, we're gonna put a b in front of it. So you're gonna say ba like bad. Now this will take a little bit of the pressure off from that na 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 where my tongue is so involved, and just put it right in my lips. Ba ba ba. So, gentlemen, we're gonna sing. Again, funny. Ladies, we're going to do the same thing, starting from that top C sharp five. On none of those in my bah, bah, and just pushing my voice up there I'm allowing that top part of my voice to come in but I'm using that bratty sound to kind of thicken up those notes so now that you've got that sound it's time to kind of polish things up a little bit so rather than going so ah, ugly up there we're actually gonna go for a slightly more finished sound but you know we don't want to uh, put the cart before the horse we don't want to do anything before we're ready so i'm going to give you something to hold on to as well in this case we're going to do a gug exercise on that octave repeat again so rather than that na, 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 at the top we're going to sing a gug 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 guys with me here on f sharp gug 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 same thing for ladies starting up at C sharp five. Now you see how you get a nice full sound that way, but none of the I'm just there is plenty of volume up there. There is plenty of power up there. That is belting in the right way. 
belting with a balance between the chest voice and the head voice. The two are working together rather than just one dominating the other, and I'm still getting plenty of power and volume there. Now, a lot of people will probably say, well, you're just singing in your mix, and that's absolutely true. So what is the difference between belting and a mixed voice? Well, in my personal experience, I would say that belting is probably just a stronger mix. So rather than a na 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 maybe more of a na 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 and leaning into that a little bit more. Now, let's take a look at our fifth and final belting exercise. We're gonna round things out even a little bit more and just do an octave arpeggio repeat mum. So still a nice open vowel that's gonna give you lots of chest voice feeling, but none of the strain of the uh. So we're gonna sing mum 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 Guys, with me. Mum 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 Well, I can hear you right now. You're saying, well, great, I can sing those notes fantastic, Matt, but how do I use that in a song? I'm so glad that you asked. So, what I want to show you is how you can start to use some of this belting sound in a song. So, let's take a look at uh, a song by Audio Slave, Chris Cornell, singing that, um, I am a highway, so... I am not no rolling wheels, I am the highway. So, the way that he gets that really highway, that's belting in the wrong way. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't want to take any of the excitement out of that sound at all. It sounds amazing. And if I were recording in the studio, I would do that exact same thing for as long as I could until I would start to feel some fatigue in my voice. But you'll actually notice that there's a lot of singers that do one thing in the studio and another thing on tour. Now, why would they do something different on tour? Well, they're doing that in order to save their voice. And something that you can do in the studio once is not the same thing that you can repeat, you know, 300 days a year when you're on tour. So let's see if we can belt that a little bit more safely. So, rather than, I am not young, let's go for uh, an exercise on that sound. We'll do it on a brownie now. So, for instance, like, um, na -na. I'm actually using that bratty ah feeling to get me that power rather than na 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 Let's try it once more. So now that I've found that note on the na 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 let's see if we can do that in a little bit more of a, a regular place, like you're singing the lyrics but without yelling. Keep the same feeling as the nag gave you so that I am not your rolling wheels I am the highway So notice rather Not your I'm not your rolling wheels Now, a lot of people will probably be picky about that and saying the first one sounds better I totally agree. It totally does. But the second one is going to take me so much further. And it's going to do something even more important. If I just belt the wrong way as high as I can, that's as far as I can go. But if I can actually sing in a mix from a I can sing a lot higher than that. But if I I have to stop. I have to stop because my voice just stops. So there's lots of great reasons to find that balance between the chest voice and the head voice when you're, when you're learning to belt. So make sure to practice these exercises a little bit every day. If you feel any fatigue or any strain, go ahead and stop, reset for the day, come back tomorrow, and I'm guaranteeing you you're going to have an amazing belt sound at the top of your voice. Happy singing, and thanks for watching.